Okay, we're just working on some obedience while we're out and about here. Um, I just recommend that when you take him for walks, you don't just go for walks, you work on some obedience stuff while you're out and about. Um, so, like if you see things that he could jump up on. Um, good boy. Well done. So he hits the end of the leash, automatically comes back. That's good. I'm going to give him a treat for that. He's going through there. But I want him to be more aware. So if you come to an obstacle like a pole and he goes on the opposite side from you, I want him to be aware that the leash is there. Good boy. So I'm not I'm not helping him go back around anymore, but I'm also not going onto the side that he's on. He needs to come back to where the leash goes. You know, you're not gonna help him out that way. Should we get him on the table? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna use the lure still to get him up there because he's not particularly wanting to do it on his own. Come on up. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy down. And now <laughs> good boy. So he's feeling a little wily, so I'm gonna reward him for his down stay. There. Down. Oh, I already chewed that one. Good boy. Stay. And Lily's running around as a distraction. I'm gonna turn around. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm going to ask him one more time. Stay. <laughs> it's a bit of a protest, the barking. We've already practiced this a bit. He's getting sick of it. Down. <laughs> Good boy. So I only ask him the one time. Stay. Down. Keep her on the bike there to so see you know. Good boy. Well done. Yeah, so all of this, like he still struggles. <laughs> He's still, oh, is he still struggling? <laughs> he, he's still struggling um, with frustration and with having to be told to do things. So the barking is a bit of a protest on that. So obviously I don't reward him while he's barking. Good boy. Yeah, he only does this when he's like getting tired of doing it. Okay, you're free. So he's getting really tired of doing this. So we already practiced a little bit. And uh, he doesn't want to do it anymore. And I'm still asking him to do it. So it's a little bit of stress. And it's just a sign to you that you're reaching the edge of his limits <laughs> at this point. Good boy. Nice. So did you see that turn? I didn't cue him at all. He just knows that when he hits the end of the leash, he has to come back. So he's doing it preemptively, which is awesome. It's what we want to see. No more of that dragging into the leash. Yes. So I'm also rewarding him for he's doing a period of time of walking in heel. Doing on some stairs. Yep. Good boy. Yep. Yeah. Good boy. I'm not holding the treats in my hand. They're in a treat pouch. Is he coughing? <laughs> Good boy. Okay, let's go all the way up. So I wanted to do a few steps in heel there before I reward him because he's starting to improve. So the more he improves, the better he gets at doing the nice loose leash walking, the less often you reward, if that makes sense. So you want to reward him for taking longer and longer periods of time walking in a loose leash before you feed. So he's doing a great job here. Staying on my left side, not switching. Staying close, I'm walking pretty slow and he's still staying pretty close. It's good. That's the stuff we're working on. <laughs>